What's up guys, this is Save Knight and welcome to another Let's Play series. Sorry about the delay in getting the next video cranked out. I was busy with like work and all that other shit. Today's game is brought to you by Konami. You know, Konami Computer Entertainment of Tokyo. K set, whatever. In an era long past, as monarchies weaken, local feudal lords grew in power. The first knights simply protected their lords' domains. However, with the reforms of the late 11th century, knights became protectors of the peace. They valued courage and honor, fighting heretics and heathens in God's name. In this age, one company of knights was said to be invincible due to two men. Leon Belmont, a courageous man who feared nothing and whose combat abilities were second to none. And Matthias Kronqvist, a genius tactician whose learning made him an exception in a largely illiterate society. They trusted each other completely and they were bound by an old friendship. However, sorrow awaited Matthias upon his return from a victorious campaign. It was news of the sudden death of his beloved wife, Elisabetta. Matthias's grief was profound, and he became bedridden. Oof, I know that damn feeling. A year has passed since then. Thanks to Leon's efforts, their company remains proudly undefeated. However, a mysterious army of monsters suddenly appears in Leon's domain. The Crusades are raging in the east, and since the church is focusing on fighting heathens rather than monsters, it has forbidden unauthorized battles. Leon wants permission to sortie, but the church has no intention of granting it. Fucking assholes. One night, Matthias struggles from his sickbed and tells Leon that the appearance of the monsters is tied to a vampire who has a castle in the forest called Eternal Night and that Leon's betrothed, Sarah, has been kidnapped and brought to that castle. Leon realizes that he must renounce his title to rescue his beloved. The forest is swollen with darkness, as if it would rob away everything, and only moonlight provides a ray of hope. Uh. A great legend is about to begin. As you can probably already guess by the main character's name, that I am going to be playing in Castlevania. Which is the Lament of Innocence one for the PS2. 2003 Konami and Konami Computer Entertainment of Tokyo. Options. Key config. That's fine. Stereo. Oh god. Ooh, no response on that'll work. Language. Spoken. Yeah. English. Yeah. Vibration. Ah, oh, shit, not fucking new, you douche. Like always, I'm gonna put in my user handle. Can I actually fit the whole fucking thing this time? Close enough. Ah, shit. What 
just happened? Stuff. I felt something strange in my pads. Ah, he must really like you. You won't be able to leave now. Who's there? Now, don't get so excited. I'm just an old man. I just came to gawk at the man crazy enough to come here. You don't seem like a monster. <laughs> of course not. What is your name? Leon. Leon. You're not Baron Leon Belmont. Just Leon Belmont. I have given up my title. And you, old man? Pardon me, Lord Belmont. My name is Rinaldo Gandolfi. You can call me Leon, and I will call you Rinaldo. Don't call me Lord. We're equals now. As you wish. Now, please follow me to my cottage. I want to talk to you. Wait here a moment. There's something I want to give you. Rinaldo, can I ask you something? What is it? Why are you living in a place like this? I have unfinished business with Walter Bernhard, the master of this forest. Unfinished business? Not worth mentioning. I owe him. Well, I won't ask any more, but you're not in danger living so close to him? It seems eternal life is extremely boring. He enjoys playing at cat and mouse with the hunters that come here. Though, of course, there's no way that he could ever lose. He thinks that um, my helping hunters makes the game more fun. Well, he's a dick. I see. But what do you mean by there being no way he could lose? Vampires are loved by the night, and this forest is locked in eternal darkness. He has never been defeated. Hmm, it's called eternal well, that night. that may be so, but I must go ahead and face him. Did he... take someone precious? Yes, he abducted my betrothed. How did you know that? It's what he always does when he starts the game. You came unarmed. Your courage astonishes me. I do have a weapon, just not my sword. That belongs to the company, and I left it behind when I gave up my title. <laughs> Honest to a fault. I heard that many hunters have met their end here. If that's the case, getting weapons shouldn't be hard. Take this with you. It will help you against monsters. What is this? It's a whip. A whip made with alchemy. It's stronger than any dead man's discarded sword. Alchemy? I'm not familiar with that word. Not surprising. The field experiments with the principles of God's creation of the world. The only person who truly understands it is Matthias. You know Lord Kronkvist? I have known him longer than you have. His family has a book of secret arts, originally handed down orally. Okay. Secret arts? I never knew. Yeah, that's kind of, of weird. Of course not. Only a handful of people in this world know about it. There are some who consider alchemy to be heresy. I see. Are you one of them? No. If you are an acquaintance of Matthias, you are trustworthy. I will use this whip with gratitude. I mean, I'm kind of the same way. I mean, you practice paganism or witchcraft or voodoo or Put whatever. Put your left hand out. My left hand? Like this? Don't move now. 
You know, you can practice whatever the fuck you want. You know, I mean, I'm agnostic. I don't care who or what you pray to. I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's your business. I mean, if it works for you, I mean, you know, good for you. That should do it. You can put it down now. What was that? The gauntlet is enchanted now. A spell? Some enemies' attacks release a special power. If you block them with the gauntlet, you can gather that power. What can I do with the gathered power? You'll be able to use magical relics by releasing that power. Magical relics? Right. Those who excel in magic can use them. I have cast the spell so that you can use them as well. I have some. You should be able to obtain them in the castle as well. I understand. Right now, this is all I can do for you. Rinaldo, thank you. Wait a minute, I forgot to tell you something. The door leading to his throne is guarded by five monsters. So I will need to defeat them first. That's right. That's essentially the test you must pass to fight him. What a bothersome... I told you before. To him, this is a game. I realize that, but... If you have troubles, come back here any time. They won't be free, but I'll keep potions on hand for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Alrighty then. Your fiance gets kidnapped by a vampire. Demons and monsters attack your fucking domain. Church says, well, top tough shit. Not surprising. I mean, really? You couldn't bring any fucking money with you? I mean, you had to leave everything behind? Sarah, wait for me. I'm coming to save you. Prelude to the Dark Abyss. Here, what was that? Okay, square is for light attack, triangle is for heavy attack, which does more damage, but it's a little bit slower. You can chain and hit. Doing different combinations. And you get double jump right off the bat, so that's freaking awesome. And you start with a sub weapon. Uh, oh, excuse me. Okay, start button brings up this. Like all your different, all your different lists and everything. Like for your usable items, your key items, your equipment, your relics, which are used for magic, which I'll explain in a bit. Orbs are for your sub weapon. I'll explain those more when I get one. Your different whip skills that unlock with... I'm trying to remember how they unlock. I think some of them you have to use a certain one so many times and others... I think you unlock when you get certain things. I don't fucking remember offhand. Encyclopedia is like the monster list that tells you what the monster is, what it's weak against, what it drops, if, if it drops anything, etc. I already did options. Oops. Over here it shows you what you actively have equipped and like a brief description of it. Like knife is a knife made of silver. And whip is the whip Ronaldo created with alchemy. This just gives you like a little um, thing of how many enemies you've killed and 
how many times you guarded and quick stepped and whatever. Stuff's like that, goddammit, wrong button. And to the right you have your stats, like your HP, MP, and hearts. HP is health, if it gets to zero you die obviously. MP is for using relics, which I'm gonna have to explain that in a second too. Hearts are for sub weapons. Attack determines the damage you do with the whip. Damage is your defense against enemy attacks. Goes up with armor, which I don't actually have any right now. Constitution, I think, has something to do with like status effects. Like when something hits you, like if something is like, like let's say you come up against a poison enemy, it's not going to poison you every single time it hits you. Your constitution will determine how often it will poison you. Or how often something will petrify you, or paralyze you, or curse you, or what have you. The higher the constitution, the less chance they have of it hitting you, and if it does hit you, how fast it'll wear off. Except for paralyze and... Um, paralyze and uh, petrify. And intelligence determines damage with sub-weapons. Luck it's for everything else, like how often an enemy drops something what kind of item it drops, how often you do critical hits, or enemies doing critical hits to you, things like that. Status tells you whether you're poisoned or normal or what have you. And then Curse to an poison percentage is your defense against those status changes. Curse prevents you from uh, casting magic, or using a relic I should say. And for some reason, um, is it this, I'm trying to remember if it's this Castlevania. It like keeps you from using like certain like combination attacks or something, I don't remember. Uh, stone petrifies you, you can't attack, and I think it drops your defense by half, and you have to shake the controller to get free. Same thing with paralyze, you gotta shake the controller to get free. And then poison um, does damage over time until it wears off or it's cured. During a jump, Leon can jump a second time. God, I figured that out already. Event item, Stone Marker 1. Or Marker Stone 1 if you're not dyslexic. You can place a mark on the world map with this magical stone that shines red. Wink. And when you're next to a ledge, you'll usually automatically grab onto it when you're next to it. Potion. Oh, and another thing to use items and shit, you can't use it from here. You gotta fucking. You have a real time window. You have to. What is it? Oh, also forgot other buttons. L1 and L. I'm sorry, R1 and R2 are for blocking. L1 brings up your orb menu, and L2 brings up your relic menu. To bring up your item menu, press the directional up button, and then left and right to switch between menus. You can't. Well, I guess you can move while you're like that but you can't block, so you have to run. But you can change like your your whip, your armor, your accessories, use items, change relics, or orbs. Shit like that. I fucking hate that. Take advantage of places you can traverse by hooking the whip and swinging. Serum. Also, potion does 50 HP, and serum cures poison. We... Marker Stone 2. Same thing, but it shines blue. We Press triangle. Or I think square to go back through the door. Defeat all enemies in the room to open the door. Oh, really? Learn the new technique. Quick step command guard button plus X. Moves quickly in the directional in the direction of the left analog stick to possibly avoid attacks. Unless you're not pressing a direction, you'll just 
step backwards, but if I press forward or sideways, it'll like sidestep. Muffin else in here? Nope. Take advantage of places you can traverse by hooking the whip and swinging, okay? Uncurse potion, cures and curse. Magical ticket will warp you back to Ronaldo's. Ah, oh, goddammit. You ass. Open the door. Really? Against an enemy special attacks, purple glow. MP will be consumed when using relics. Use a relic to feed the enemy. Sarog okay. statue. A statue in the image of the fire god. Flames sprout in your footsteps. Press circle while guarding to activate the relic. Press it again to deactivate. for that. This area is just intended to be like a tutorial, I guess. Save room. That also restores HP. You don't have to save it to make it restore HP. It just does. Here. And you have five, you know, the five different areas to choose from. Yellow, and the game's pretty um, non-linear at this point, meaning you can go in any area that you want first, and it's not going to really be more or less harder. They're roughly equal strength, but if you do them in a certain order, it makes it easier to complete them because you'll get more power-ups and you'll get more items for the harder areas. Like, if I go to this one, which is whatever the fuck that one is, compared to going over here, which is the House of Sacred Remains, you know, it's not going to really make it any harder. But if I come here first, then go there, I'll have more items to use. I'll have more power-ups. I may have more relics. I may have, you know, more money to go buy shit to go to the stronger area. I mean, maps are numbered. So it's, it's usually recommended you go in those orders of the map. Like map 1, House of Sacred Remains, so it's usually recommended you go here first. Just because. And here we have the House of Sacred Remains, which I'll come back to later. That was the select button I pressed for this damn thing, by the way. Brings up the map. Press the X button, brings up a guide that tells you what each button does for the map. Shit's too fucking close. He's like this is about good. And when we come back, I will take on the House of Sacred Remains. So until then, this is Save Night on Let's Play Castlevania Lament of Innocence. Later, guys.